Now let's find the derivative of the inverse trig function. So you're going to have a new set of formula for the inverse trig function different from the derivative of a regular trig function. So now you can see that um, we have different set of formulas that you need to memorize so that you can perform derivatives of uh, trig function or the inverse of trig functions. So let's try to use the set of formula that we're going to have to work with right now on our first example. So in this case, we are going to find the derivative of y equals the square root of 10 inverse x. Now before we can use the formula, we always simplify the function into an exponential function so it's easier to derive. So in this case, the in derivative of 10 inverse of x raised to 1 half requires chain rule to be able to simplify our function or to find the derivative of our function. So u is 10 inverse x, and the derivative of 10 inverse x using the formula is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And using the chain rule, y prime is equal to 1 half times u raised to negative 1 half times du. So you have 10 inverse x here times the derivative of u, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now this derivative right here is already acceptable because you perform chain rule and you also use the formula for finding the derivative of inverse or tan inverse so this one would work however if you still want to further simplify it we know that this is a negative exponent so we'll put it down here to the de denominator and since one half is right here two is also in your denominator and 1 plus x squared will also be your denominator. So this will be your simplest form of your first derivative or the derivative of the function. So I just simplified it. Now, let's have another example. So we need to find the derivative of f of x which is equal to sine inverse 5x. So we're going to use this set of formula for the derivative of the inverse trig function again. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of sine inverse 5x with respect to x. So u of your sine inverse is 5x and du will be 5. So to use the formula for the derivative of sine inverse x, we have 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared just like here in the formula, and u is 5x, that's why I replace u by 5x, times the derivative of u, which is 5. Now, if you want to further simplify your derivative, it will turn out to be f inverse of x equal to 5 all over the square root of 1 minus 25x squared, because I simplified the exponent here in your denominator. Now the third example seems a little bit complicated compared to the other two because now we're using product rule so we're finding the derivative of, a, of two functions here g of x or f of x and g of x. So to find the derivative of f of x we'll use the product rule and since we're working on secant inverse x we're also going to use the formula for the derivative of inverse trig function. I change my radical function into exponential function, so I have f of x equals x squared minus 1 raised to 1 half times secant inverse x. Using the product rule, I simplified all my terms so you can see how the step is working. So f prime of x is equal to copy f of x times the derivative of g of x plus the derivative of f of x times g of x. Simplifying your derivative, you just copy your first term, derivative of secant inverse x from the formula that we just saw a while ago is 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1, plus the derivative of this function, which uses the chain rule, that's why we have 1 half x squared minus 1, raised to negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x multiplied by secant inverse x. Now, to further simplify your derivative, we can combine these two together. That's why I have square root of x squared minus 1 all over the denominator, plus I can get rid of 1 half and 2. That's why you're not seeing 1 half and 2 in my fraction right here. So since this is a negative exponent, 
I placed it here as your denominator and secant inverse x is positive so that's why it's up here. So this will be my derivative using product rule and the inverse trig function.